Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv, and today I want to talk about Project Argo. Project Argo is a new initiative from Bohemia, the makers of the Arma 3 simulator. Uh, you may know them from their military simulator shooters. This is a new initiative in their Bohemia Incubator project where they allow uh, themselves to give us access to the to their most um, bleeding edge projects. This is one of them, Project Argo, which is an Arma 3 conversion, which takes the Arma 3 engine into a much more close quarters combat system. Uh, they have three different modes. They have Link, Raid, and uh, the third I forget, but uh, it, it, they're three different modes. And I just want to do a quick video showing you some uh, some footage I downloaded and played it today. Um, it's very, very Arma. Uh, if you've ever played Arma, you ever, uh, you know, manipulate the characters and you know, crouch controls and, you know, aiming down sights and shooting. It does remind me of a lot of what I remember from Arma 3. And that's not always positive. A lot of people don't like the, I guess the, the best word is unresponsiveness of the Arma 3 engine. It's not, it's not as tight and as fast as like say Titanfall 2 or something like uh, Call of Duty. But uh, what it does offer is, you know, a realistic experience in a close quarters combat type of a scenario. And I found myself easy, I was able easily to find matches because it does have a server browser. And uh, I was easy. I, it, it took me a while to, I guess, I had to look at the controls a couple times because, you know, Arma is not the same as Call of Duty and it's not the same as Titanfall. Not the same as a lot of other shooters. It's got a whole different type of control scheme. But with that said, it felt good. It felt like a good shooter. It felt like uh, something that I could possibly play uh, for, for you know, in the future for many, for many more hours. Uh, I like the airdrop system. I like the link mode best uh, where you have to capture the points basically and hold them and prevent the enemy from capturing. Um, there's, I, didn't, I didn't really play the other two modes that much, but I do plan on doing some more with those uh, later on down the line. Uh, the shooting leaves a lot to be desired. I, I, I don't know. See, it's just... You aim at people and you you don't get like tactical feedback that you're actually hitting them. So there's nothing to really denote that you've hit or killed somebody until they just lump over. Um, and when you miss people, sometimes you don't even know you're missing them until you're dead. So it's, it's just one of those things with Arma. I think with Arma, there's never been any kind of great indicator that you hit someone. It's just if they're no longer moving, then you must have hit them. I guess that's one of, one of the realistic things about the game. But I'm hoping they add like some hit markers or something to to kind of give it a better feel or, you know, maybe bigger blood splatters or something like that. Because right now it feels like the shooting is a little bit eh, for for a competitive close craze, uh, close quarters uh, shooter. I think you want some kind of feedback that you're actually hitting somebody because when you shoot someone in this game, you're giving away your position. I mean, it's a very tactical shooter. You have to move uh, a certain way. Uh, I, I love the fact that you can sprint while sprint while crouching. I mean, that was one of my, one of my favorite things about Arma 3 is that you can actually crouch with X and, and still sprint while doing it. But uh, if you're going to be shooting and, and aiming at people and, and making sure that you, you know, you want to make sure you get a hit on them and you can report to your teammates that, hey, I hit this guy or or I didn't hit this guy. But that's a very minor complaint. This is a, a prototype project and overall it felt very developed but i guess that that's a testament to armor 3 because it is a direct conversion of armor 3 which has been in development for quite quite some time um i, I did get the chance to actually look at the airdrops they, 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 they do offer airdrops in this game i didn't i tried to get the one one time and but the other team got to it first and i couldn't get to it so i don't know what type of loot or what type of bonuses are in that but um i did get to play uh, i played this mode and another mode uh just a little bit and i just wanted to show you guys some of the footage but overall it seems like a, a, a good game i think you should download it. it's absolutely free you just go to bohemian site project argo.net and uh, you can download it for free you don't have to pay anything you just have to have a bohemia account and then you can check it out so i'll just let you guys watch the rest of the footage enjoy and uh, i'll give you some more thoughts of project argo as time goes on take care guys
established in time.